Hello and good day to you senior high school. This is Mr. John Jasper Sabi, your PN Arts Coordinator. I would like to welcome everyone to our virtual class. I would like to inform everyone that each PE teacher is assigned to a specific topic. This means to say that each PE teacher will take turn on delivering the discussion and instructions of our lesson once a week. However, your PE teacher will be the one to record and grade all your outputs. And also, all PE teachers will be present during the live question and answers session. May you enjoy this virtual class. Good day. Hello, everybody. Hello, guys. So, welcome to the first discussion in PE. Ako po pala ito, si Sir Nelson, ang makakasama niyo ngayon. Ang nagtagalog ko. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Wow. Before we will go on with our discussion, don't forget to answer the pre-assessment, which is the parkour or the physical activity readiness questionnaire. Okay? What do you need to know? In this lesson, you will going to recall the lessons that you have learned in your grade 7 physical education about health-related fitness and skill-related fitness. And afterwards, you will going to undergo with a different physical fitness test and record your score based on your performance. Health-related fitness activities play a vital role in the holistic development of a person. Fitness is defined as a condition in which an individual has enough energy to avoid fatigue and enjoy life. Look back and reflect on your everyday activities. Do you have lots of energy? Or do you get tired easily? Do you consider yourself as physically fit? Physical fitness Physical fitness is the ability of our body to respond to the many demands of life with extra energy for leisure and recreational activities. Now, here are the components of physical fitness, which are the health-related fitness and the skill-related fitness. Now, let's proceed to the health-related fitness, or the HRF. It is the ability to become and stay physically healthy. The components are, first, cardiovascular fitness. Cardiovascular fitness, this is the ability of the heart and the lungs and blood vessels to deliver oxygen to working muscles and tissues as well as the ability of those muscles and tissues to utilize oxygen. Physical fitness test for this is the 3 minute step test. 3 minute step test. The purpose is to measure cardiovascular endurance. Equipment. First step. The height of step should be 12 inches. Next, stopwatch. Procedure for the student. First, Position in front of the step. Next, at the signal go, step up and down on the bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 24 steps per minute. One step consists of 4 bits, that is, up with the left foot, up with the right foot, down with the left foot, and down with the right foot. Immediately after the exercise, stand and relax. Don't talk. Right after the activity, locate your pulse. The first beat is zero. Next, count the pulse for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. Procedure for the tester. As the student assumed the position in front of the step, Signal ready and go. Start the stopwatch for 3 minute step test. After the test, let the student count his pulse for 10 seconds and multiply it 
by 6. And for the scoring, record the 60 second heart rate after the activity. Next one is the muscular strength. This refers to the maximum amount of force a muscle can exert against an opposing force. Physical fitness test for this is the basic planking to measure strength, stability of the core muscle. Next is the muscular endurance. This refers to the ability of the muscles to do repeated work over an extended period of time without fatigue. Physical fitness test for this is the 90 degree push ups. 90 degrees push up. The purpose of this is to measure the strength of upper extremities. The equipment to be used exercise mats or any clean mat. Procedure for the student First, lie down on the mat, face down in standard push up position. Palms on the mat under shoulders, fingers pointing forward, and legs straight, parallel, and slightly apart with the toes supporting the feet. For boys, straightens the arms, keeping the back and knees straight, then lowers the arms until there is 90 degree angle at the elbows. Upper arms are parallel to the floor. For girls, with knees in contact with the floor, straighten the arms, keeping the back straight, then lowers the arms until there is 90 degree angle at the elbows. Upper arms also are parallel to the floor. Next, perform as many repetitions as possible maintaining a cadence of 20 push-ups per minute. 2 seconds going down and 1 second going up. For the tester, as the student assumes the position of push-up, start counting as the student lowers his body on the ground until he reaches 90 degree angle at the elbow. Next, make sure that the student performs the push-ups in the correct form. The test is terminated when the subject can no longer perform the push-ups in the correct form. Three corrections are allowed. Is in pain. Voluntary stops or a cadence is broken. Scoring. Record the number of push-ups made. Curl-ups. The purpose of this is to measure strength of abdominal muscles. Equipment, exercise mats, or any clean mat. Procedure for the student. First, assume a lying position with feet flat on the floor and knees bent at about 90 degree hands palm down at the sides with fingers touching the first tape line. Next. Complete a slow, controlled curl up, sliding fingertips along the floor until they touch the second tape line. Next, the curl up should be performed at a rate of 1 every 3 seconds or 20 curl ups per minute. 2 seconds going up and once going down. There should be no rest at the bottom position and perform as many curl ups as possible without stopping. Procedure for the tester Ensure a mat that has tape lines set 12 cm apart. Next, one curl up is counted each time the student's shoulder's blade touches the floor. Make sure that the student performs the curl ups in the correct form. The test is terminated when the subject can no longer perform the curl ups in the correct form. Three corrections are allowed is in pain, voluntary stops, or in cadence is broken. Scoring record the number of curl ups made.
First one is the flexibility. This is the ability to move a body part through a full range of motion or the ROM at a joint. The physical fitness test for this can be zipper test or twisted and rich to test the flexibility of upper and lower extremities. Zipper test A test of upper arm and shoulder girdle flexibility intended to parallel the strength endurance assessment of that region. Purpose to be able to touch the fingertips together behind the back by reaching over the shoulder and under the elbow. Equipment, ruler, procedure for the student. First, stand erect. Next, to test the right shoulder, raise your right arm, bend your elbow, and reach down across your back as far as possible. Next, at the same time, extend your left arm down and behind your back, bend your elbow up across your back, and try to cross your fingers over those of your right hand. Next, reach with the right hand over the right shoulder and down the back as if to pull a zipper or scratch between the shoulder blades. And lastly, to test the left shoulder, Repeat procedures from letter A to D with the left hand over the left shoulder. Procedure for the tester. Observe whether the fingers touch or overlap each other. Measure the distance in which the fingers overlapped and the record the score in centimeter. For the scoring, record zipper test to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. Standard. Zero means did not touch the fingertips. One, just touch fingertips. Two, fingers overlap by one to two centimeter. Three, fingers overlapped by three to four centimeter. Four, fingers overlapped by five to seven centimeter. And five, fingers overlap by 8 cm and more. Sit and reach. A test of flexibility for the lower extremities, particularly the hamstring. The purpose is to be able to reach as far as possible without bending the hamstring. Equipment, tape measure. Procedure for the student. First, Sit on the floor with the back flat on the wall. Feet are approximately 12 inches apart. Next, without bending the back, knees, and elbows, place one hand on the top of the other and position the hands on the floor. Next, after the tester has positioned the zero point of the tape measure, Start the test by reaching the farthest point possible without bending the knees. Procedure for the tester. As the student assume the B procedure, which is without bending the back, knees, and elbows, and placing one hand on the top of the other hand, and positioning the hands on the floor, position the zero point of the tape measure at the tip of the finger farthest from the body. Next, see to it that the knees are not bent at, as the student reaches the farthest that he could. Measure the distance of the farthest reach and the record the score in centimeter. For the scoring, record sit and reach to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. And lastly is your body composition. It is the ratio of body fat to lean body mass, including the water, bones, muscles, and connective tissues. Physical fitness test for this is the body mass index. And now we are down to the skill related fitness or the SRF. This is enhances our focus on the performance in athletics or sport events. 
the components are first is the agility agility it is the ability to move in different directions quickly using a combination of balance coordination speed strength and endurance example of sports are badminton table tennis and fencing physical fitness tests for agility we can apply the hexagon agility test this is to measure the ability of the body to move in different direction quickly balance it is the maintenance of equilibrium while stationary or while moving example sports is gymnastics physical fitness test for this is the stork balance 10 test Stork Balance Stand Test. The purpose is to assess the ability to balance on the ball of the foot. Equipment, flat, non-slip surface, and a stopwatch. Procedure for the student. First, remove the shoes and place the hands on the hips. Position the non-supporting foot against the inside knee of the supporting leg. Raise the heel to balance on the ball of the foot. Procedure for the tester. The student is given one minute to practice the balance. The stopwatch is started as the heel is raised from the floor. The stopwatch is stopped if any of the follow occur. First, if the hands come off the hips. Next, if the supporting foot swivels or moves, hops in any direction. The non-supporting foot loses contact with the knee or the heel of the supporting foot touches the floor. Scoring for this, record the time in nearest seconds. Power. This is the ability of the muscle to transfer energy and release maximum force at a fast rate. Examples of sports are boxing, volleyball, and the long jump event. Physical fitness test is the standing long jump. Standing long jump. The purpose is to measure the explosive strength and power of the leg muscles. Equipments. First, tape measure. Accurate to 0.1 centimeters, at least 3 meters long, and place firmly on the floor. Or you can use meter stick. Procedure for the student. First, Stand behind the takeoff line. The tips of your shoes should not go beyond the line. As you prepare to jump, bend your knees and swing your arms backward and jump as far as you can. Procedure for the tester. First, lay the tape measure in centimeters on the floor. Set a takeoff line in the point zero of the tape measure. Next, after the jump, spot the mark where the back of the heels of the student has landed closest to the takeoff line. And lastly, record score in the nearest 0.1 centimeter. And for the scoring, Record the score in meters to the nearest 0.1 centimeters. Speed. This is the ability to perform a movement in one direction in the shortest period of time. Example sports are running event and cycling. Physical fitness test for this, we can apply the 40 meter sprint. This is to measure the running speed. Coordination. It is the ability to use the senses with the body parts to perform motor tasks smoothly and accurately. 
examples of sports are basketball and baseball. Physical fitness test for this is paper juggling. Paper juggling is a physical human skill involving the movement of an object, usually through the air. The purpose of this is to measure the coordination of an individual in the performance of motor tasks. Equipment A piece of crumpled cotton bun. Procedure for the student First, Stand comfortably on an area with no obstruction. Next, heat the crumpled paper six times, alternately with right and left palm in upward motion. Procedure for the tester. See to it that the student heat the crumpled paper six times alternately with his right and left palm. Count up to how many times the student has hit the crumpled paper. Reaction time. It is the amount of time to respond to a stimulus. Example of sports are running sprint at the gun start, swimming at the gun start, and fencing. Physical fitness test for this is the stick drop test. Stick drop test. The purpose of this is to measure the reaction time as to how fast a person can respond to a stimulus. The higher your score, the faster your reaction time. Equipment. First, you can use a ruler or a stick of 24 inches long an armchair, or a table and chair. Procedure for the students. First, sit in an armchair or chair next to the table so that you or elbow and the lower arm rest on the desk or the table comfortably. Next, the heel of your hand should rest on the desk or the table so that only the fingers and the thumb extend beyond the edge of the desk or table. Next, as the tester drop the stick, catch it with thumb and index finger as fast as possible without lifting elbow from the desk. It is important that you react only to the dropping of the stick. Your score is the number of inches red on the ruler or stick just above the thumb and index finger after you catch the yard stick. Procedure for the tester. First, hold the ruler or stick at the top, allowing it to dangle between thumb and fingers of the student. Next, the ruler or stick should be held so that the 24 inch mark is even with your thumb and index finger. No part of the hand of the student should touch the ruler or the stick. Without warning, drop the stick and let the student catch it with his thumb and index finger. Lastly, give the test three times. Be careful. Not to drop the stick at predictable time, intervals, so that the student cannot guess when it will be dropped. For the scoring, record the middle of your three scores. For example, if your scores are 21, 18, and 19, your middle score is 19. By the way guys, Physical fitness test is a standardized test prepared by the former Bureau of Physical Education and School Sports, or the BPESS. It gives you information about the status of your overall physical fitness. And now, let us discuss the physical fitness test objectives. Number one, to determine the level of fitness of students. Number two, to identify strengths and weaknesses for development and improvement. Number three, 
to provide baseline data for selection of physical activities for enhancement of health and skill performance. Number four, to gather data for the development of norms and standards. Number five, to motivate, guide, and counsel students in selecting sports for recreation, competition, and lifetime participation. And now, before we proceed with the physical fitness test, I want you to get your pulse rate before doing our activity. I want you to locate your pulse fit from your wrist using your point and middle finger. For us to make it easier, count your pulse speed in 10 seconds, and after that, record the pulse speed and times it by 6 for us to see your pulse rate in one minute. Come on, let's go. And now, let's do it! Perform the physical fitness test under the health-related fitness and skill-related fitness. Find a partner. Sana all, ano ra easy mga partner, no? <laughs> Just kidding. Now let's go into the discussion. Record the results and put it in on a physical fitness test scorecard. You can do it, guys. By the way, guys, if you have questions or clarifications, you can see us in the live Q&A using our Google Meet. For the grade 11, see you this Wednesday. That is at exactly 1 to 2.30 in the afternoon. For the grade 12, that is Saturday. Your schedule is Saturday at exactly 9.30 to 10.30 in the morning. Okay? See you! For now, stay safe, stay home. See you, Puhun, see you. Goodbye, guys. Thank you so much for watching.